Hey guys, welcome back. We're here with Jesse Rogers from the Historic Museum at Fort Mozilla. Yes. Yep. And I, I don't know why I went up in inflection. I just was like, well, let's just do it. Okay. <laughs> let's just do it. All right, so you are here to talk about Fourth at the Fort. Yes, it is the 41st annual Fourth at the Fort celebration. It's an awesome family fun, just old fashioned get together. And we have a lot of great events this year. We've completely changed up our uh, music lineup. So we have live bands all day long. And we also have, you know, a beer garden. We've got about seven, I think six or seven food trucks this year, because last year we had so many folks show up having such a great time that the food trucks like sold out. Really? Yeah, we wow. sold out of food. So we've got some new food vendors coming this year. We have a lot of fun just farm animals from the FFA kids, the Missoula Ag Ed Department. We have Teeny Winks miniature ponies so the kids can ride around. As you can see, aren't they adorable? Mm -hmm. I love the little ponies. Of course, the Northwest Regional Steam Engine and Tractor Club come in and they have their show every year. So there's just. A, that's like the Ferrari of it, the tractors. There are some nice tractors. I mean, these guys get serious. And of course, the kids' games, we have tons of youth programs and games out at the homestead activities and you know like you see the kids really get into it they appreciate it they have a good time and we also have a lot of community sponsors this year so they'll be coming with awareness booths and games like you know cornhole and ring toss and big sky breakout will be there with their breakout games so lots of fun from everyone from toddlers to older gents having a good time ladies can enjoy all of the fun festivities we've got vendors and it's just a yeah. fun day and uh fort missoula is a huge area where it people is. can just like if they don't want to be part of the main thing they mm -hmm. can go off and do all sorts of other activities yes so we're in general the museum is a 32 acre park so when you have several thousand people out there, it doesn't feel like it. Because if you want to bring a picnic lunch and a blanket, you can go and sit in the field and watch the little ground squirrels play and see foxes or cranes or herons and just hang out and have a good time. If the kids want to play in the jungle gym across the way, the new Fort Missoula Regional Park has a whole playground area. So there's tons to do. And we just have a really good time with it. As you can see, we've got some horse rides wagon rides that we do uh, all of the living history will be going on so a lot of the different buildings around the ground the fire lookout drum and depot the ham radio guys they'll all be living history demonstrations so that's another fun thing to <coughs> walk around we've got scavenger hunts going on for adults and kids you can win a free beer at the beer garden cool. if you you know <laughs> now for the kids the kids don't get the free beer they get like the frisbee or something like, mommy mommy I want your free beer yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> perfect as you see we got some great sponsors this year family heritage insurance hospice care foundation pepsi where burn gives us the beer every year so Aww. you know it's really good beer and they're a great supporter um, we just have so much going on that the community really gets behind us so i don't even really have to go out and work for sponsors they're just like <coughs> we oh, know sorry. this is a great event we want to be there. It's been going on for four decades, and it's just a really great day. Cool. So Pancake Breakfast starts at 8, and that's put on by the Church of Latter-day Saints, and that goes from 8 to 11. It's <coughs> $5 for adult, $15 for the family, and that includes admission for the day. So you can have, sit down, have a huge breakfast, and go and enjoy all the activities. The museum admission is waived for the day, so you can go in and check out our new exhibit, which is Missoula's home front supporting the war efforts during the Great War, World War I, because this is the 100th year anniversary of the U.S. entering World War I. And this is a really cool exhibit because it talks about, basically, Instead of the war, it talks about what were we doing at the home front? What were the women doing, the kids doing, the propaganda? <coughs> what music were we listening to? What? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm a, uh, I, I, I've been there. I came back Allergies with a cough from my cough. vacation. Uh. <laughs> Don't you love that? <laughs> it's just like it's just like it's just like awful now. Yeah, and it's pr probably not helping with the allergies that have really been going on this year yeah. too. But it's a great event. 
Um, you can go to Facebook. That's the best way to find stuff out about us because we're overhauling our website. So Historical Museum of Fort Missoula, you can see all of our events. That's the big steam case locomotive that will be running the steam engine sawmill. And you can just come in, have a good time, enjoy yourself. It's uh, not very expensive. You know, it's basically $15 for a family day and $5 per person, and that gets you into all the activities. Bring lunch or buy lunch, and that's basically all you have to do. Cool. So it's just a fun time. Come on down, 4th of July. It is literally on the 4th of <laughs> July, 4th of 4th. Yep, July. and it happens from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yep. You can find out more information by going to your guys' Facebook page, mm -hmm. but also you can call. Uh, call us at the museum, 728 3476. Yeah. Hmm? Brain fart. 3476. You can talk to any of us there. We all kind of know what's going on. We're a small crew. We all get together to make this happen. And definitely one of my favorite exhibits that they have at the uh, at the Fort Missoula Field is the old schoolhouse. Yes. I love the old schoolhouse. It's, it's such it, a great thing. It's a neat one. And if you um, if you don't if it, the, well, what better excuse do you guys get to go? to the Fort Missoula than the 4th at the Fort, which is the 41st annual. So mm -hmm. they've been doing this for quite a while. We kind of got it dialed in. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we know what we're doing by now, no. hopefully. <laughs> I also like uh, sometimes when you do those apple days and yep. they, so you can, uh, so are you doing it yet or not yet? It will be in September. Or in the fall. season. Yep, yeah. with the apple cider pressing. And it's kind of a miniature version of the 4th at the Fort celebration. We try to make it fun. And that is a free event, so that's just a community event. And that will be happening in September 16th, I believe. So that's another thing to look forward to mm -hmm. is the HMFM Fall Festival. And again, it's going to be a great time. And we'll hopefully see you guys out there for all of our events. Because check us out on Facebook. We've got a lot going yeah. on. A lot of summer learning loss programs. So you can bring the kids and they can do all sorts of scavenger hunts or learn how to telegraph right. or World War One airplanes. And <coughs> we've got the Free Junior Docent Camp starting next week I want to wow. say and that will be the training week and then it runs all summer long kids can learn to be docents and come out and build skills and of course we've got history camp which um, sign up is by July 15th and it's just a fun is week it, what what times are they for the camp uh, nine to four every day wow. I think. yeah long days long days but the kids really enjoy it they get to go like to Moon Randolph, they get to go to the Ag Ed program, sometimes they go out to Dunrobin Ranch, they get to work at the homestead, then the final grand finale is they literally make a homestead dinner for their friends and family at the fort, and using the uh, ice cream that they made at the homestead, using the vegetables that they dug up at the farm, you know, using everything that they have learned, hmm. they make a real homestead meal. That's awesome. And the kids love it. Okay, so once again, uh, Fourth of the Fort is happening Fourth of July, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. They have an 8 a.m. pancake, pancake breakfast. breakfast. Um, also, uh, just be aware that they have construction going on at Fort Missoula Regional Park, so that you know, like that throughway that's across from Big Sky High School, because I always use that all the time. It's actually open. Missoula. Is it open now? Yeah, we have a roundabout, and it's like we don't have a triple detour this year. It's epic. That's awesome. You can actually really just get to us. And the parking is going to be a lot easier this year. We still got parking in the backfield, but the regional park is open, so we'll be able to park there. Uh, we are charging admission on the road to Good. make it easy for folks. So you come in on any of the three ways to get to the fort, and you'll see the FFA students collecting admission. They get a percentage of that admission. Awesome. So, I mean, it is really a community event. All right. Well, thanks, Jesse, for joining me. Yeah.